guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a, let's go that way because that paint on the wall is looking cute. Um, we're going to be doing my saddle pad collection. I got about probably close to 20, not including, well that is probably including my three show beds that I have in my trailer at the barn. So we're going to get started with my dressage ones. I keep um, all of my saddle pads in these clear plastic blanket bags. These are from Dover. I think these were four dollars. Um, I have two of them so I keep my hunter pads in one and my dressage pad in another. So we'll get started. Um, the first one I have here is just this white Perry's dressage pad. Um, it's just got like this whew, um, black underside. It's kind of similar to the old the, um, material underneath. It's just white and looks like this. And then my next one that I have is from Smart Pack. And it's just the plain black pad with black piping and white trim. I do like it because it's got a bigger opening on the withers so you can uh, pull it up in your saddle so it's not on your horse's withers the whole time. And it's got a little tag. And I always cut off all of my uh, billet straps because I hate them when they get in the way. So that is the black one. And then next from Dover, I have this gray pad. It's a little large. It's pretty, these are pretty big pads. Um, it's just gray with gray trim and black piping. And again, I cut them off. It just looks like this. <laughs> so there's the gray one. And then this is also pretty new. The next three that I'm about to show you are new. Um, these will be included in my uh, Christmas tack haul. Um, this I got from Dover also. It's the same kind as that gray one. It's just white with white piping and black trim. It looks like this, so you can see it up close. That's what it looks like. And I do like that the weathers are pretty high, so that way you can, uh, like I said, pull it up under the uh, pommel of your saddle. And then my next one I got here, um, this one I got from Riding Warehouse. It was on sale for $19. It's the same one as my show pad almost, except it's got, um, I should take it out of the bag so you can see. It's got patent leather um, trim with the rhinestones. Don't mind my appearance today either because I was at the barn and it was snowing all morning. It's cold. So this is what it looks like. It's got the Professional's Choice logo and it is patent leather so you can see that it's pretty shiny. And then uh, all little rhinestones. And I have been having an obsession with patent leather lately. I don't know, I just love it. The next one I got is by, probably by far my favorite and I can't wait to use it because this hair doing. It's uh, back on track. And it's just a plain white dressage pad. Um, it's got fleece and the withers. It's really nice underneath. Um, nice and big. And I can't wait to use this. Um, I'm also going to be doing a full review on all my back on track products. So uh, stay tuned for that. As you can see, they got it on there. Now let's get into all my hunter pads. Alright, so... Again, I keep all my hunter pads in this bag. Now, this is probably a little excessive and you're probably gonna think I'm a little bit crazy, but I have basically every color of Piper Breeches and whatever color breeches I have, when I rode the hunters, I had to have a saddle pad to match the color of my Pipers. So not exactly the breeches themselves, but the piping on them. Um, so. The first one I have here, this is by the Houndstooth Horse. It's just the baby pad with white and mint. And then it also has my name, my last name, in uh, embroidered on it as well. So that's white and mint. And then I have um, white and royal blue. Now I'm a big fan of white. I don't really have any solid color saddle pads unless they're my dressage pads. All of, most of all of my pads are white with a piping color. I don't really like Great saddle pads and if you do that's great that's awesome but for me I like white it's classy um, more like old school it's just it's just really what I prefer and then I have white with pink so B always looks good in white and pink 
I'm sure he loves that. Uh, and these are all, oh, no wonder. Here, it's all inside out. Um, these are all Dover pads, except for the Houndstooth Horse one. Um, then I have a plain white one here. This is um, for my barn. Every year we held a um, memorial horse show in honor of the owner's brother who passed away from brain cancer. His name was Zachary. So this one has um, the Team Zach uh, logo on it. So that's plain white. And then I have my favorite one, which is black and gray. Oh, this is by Smart Pack. And it has B's name, Quietly Brilliant, embroidered in it in script. Um, I love gray, black, and white. Those are like my favorite colors on him. And uh, which is Quietly Brilliant in script. And I love it. Thank you, Smart Pack. And then my last two, I have just white with black. Again, this is by Dover. Nothing too crazy. And then I have one with um, white and navy. So, again, like I said, this is a little excessive. Who really needs this many saddle pads? Um, clearly, I don't even think I use this navy one because my gird straps are still, or my billet straps are still on the saddle pad. But um, that is it, guys, for this video. Um, I'm going to be filming a few videos today. So if you see me wearing the same outfit in my next couple of videos, I'm sorry. I'm home. It's a Saturday. Who cares? Right? But... Mm -hmm. But that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.